Start recording. Stop recording. Button. Well, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I hope everybody's having a swell afternoon. I, uh, Thomas and Nikki here is on FaceTime with me. And anyway, how are you doing today? How, how's your day going? I'm doing great. Yeah. What What did you do today? Or what are you doing today, I should say? Day's not over. Um, well... This morning, I reordered a couple meds that needed reordering. Okay. Um, other than that, I haven't really been up to much. Just chilling. Yep. Nice. That's cool. Yep. Huh. So, oh, how was the um, hockey game last night? It was fantastic, actually. Uh-huh. Um, hmm. well, um, we went to the restaurant. It was called Tom Reed's Hockey City Pub. Mm-hmm. And they had a catered meal and they bought our pops. Nice. Yeah. Sounds good to me. Right? So, so how did you get there and how did you get home? Um, Mike's mom brought us. Mm-hmm. And she brought and you... And back. Nice. Did you sleep over last night or no? No. No? Did you sleep over Friday night? I thought you... Yeah. Did... Oh, cool. Nice. Very cool. So, what, uh... Just out of curiosity, what day is your mobility lesson this week? It's on Thursday. Thursday, okay. So, um, are we going to have to change the time or not? Um, yeah. Um, it, it's at one o'clock. It's, uh, it sounds like it's going to be at one o'clock my time. Mm-hmm. Okay. So I was thinking if it's okay with you, we could do it at 12 o'clock the video's at 12 o'clock my time, because since we're probably going to be starting the buses, I don't know what time we're going to get done. Okay. <clears throat> just, remi- just remind me, um, you know, maybe in a couple days. <laughs> yeah. I'm sure I'll remember, but, you know, that sounds good to me. Yeah. So, cool. On other things. So, as I told you, the good as I told you all the good news on I think it was Friday that my uh friend James now has a girlfriend. Mhm. Remember? Yep. Um <clears throat> However, <sighs> we've got a problem. Oh dear. She's not a very good communicator. Uh Uh-oh. Yeah. For example, he'll text her in the morning to say hi. Good morning. He won't hear from her sometimes until that afternoon or that night. And when he asks her about it, because I talked to him yesterday. We had a long, good conversation yesterday afternoon after we did the videos. I called him to see how he was doing, and he confronted her about it. Nicely, of course. And she just said she's busy. She has a busy life. Now, I want to say this. You can have a busy life. There's nothing wrong with having a busy life. However, and I'll let you weigh on this too if you want. However, you guys, as I've said in many videos, communication is... A minute, maybe two at the most type good morning right and 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 i know where he's coming from because megan did the same thing to me so i know how he feels i just told him to be patient you know i told him don't don't you know text her over and over and over and over and over you know don't blow up her phone just be patient and wait and she'll get back to you we hope right he hopes (laughs) so that i don't like i uh I don't agree with the, I don't agree with that. 
And I told him if it continues that he might want to think about really, you know, sitting down and talking with her about it. Maybe they want to set up set times to uh, um, hmm. I'm trying to think of what I'm trying to say here, but I'm drawing a blank. Set up, Talk. Yes, exactly. And and that's what me and Megan did in the beginning. You right. know, we, we, we talked on Monday night. Yeah, 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 yeah. We, we, we FaceTimed every, well, we texted every day. But we FaceTimed, and we would text after we got off the phone, after we got off FaceTime. But we, we would text our routine in the beginning, and for a while, was we would FaceTime every night, except for Wednesday nights and Friday nights, because Wednesday nights and Friday nights, she works. So, right. we, we FaceTimed every night, except for Wednesday nights and Friday nights. I called her every night at 9 o'clock, my time. So that's how we did it. And and we would talk and you know, sometimes until you know, twelve or one or two in the morning my time. You know. Yeah. So that's the way we did it, and that worked for a while. Um but um I made it very clear to her many times that communication, you know, is important to me. Right. And um <clears throat> she just didn't seem to get it. What I'm saying is maybe he needs to make a point to her that communication is important to him and that maybe they should set up times like throughout the day right. just to check into each in with each other. Right. Like from once in the morning and once at night or something. Now here's another thing. I don't know how she can be so busy. She doesn't have she doesn't work, you know. You know, she gets, uh, what do they call that, uh, SSI? Yeah. She gets that. So, and basically, a lot of the time, she's just home. I mean, she goes out, but a lot of times she's just home. So, how could she be so busy that she can't talk to her boyfriend? Right. That would bother me. Yeah, see, when you're friends, it's kind of different, but once you get into a, a relationship, it's like, I don't know, it's like, diff- it's different. Knowing she's home all- and saying she's busy. Well, she... she- hmm. You know? What did you say? Knowing she's home and saying she's busy, that would bother me. Oh, it would bother me too. Yep. She sounds a lot like uh, someone else I know. Oh, you have sirens going off. No, that's the vacuum. My dad's vacuuming. Oh. (laughs) But she sounds like someone else I know. She sounds like Megan. Because Megan did the same thing to me. You know, like, sometimes I wouldn't hear from her. You know, maybe I'd hear from, like, sometimes I wouldn't hear from her all day. Right. And knowing that she has depression, that worried me. You know, when I I was with her, I I worried about her a lot. You know, especially when when I, when I wouldn't hear from her. Right. For, even if it was all day, I I would worry. So, come on, guys. (laughs) Come on, guys. Communicate again. Communication is very important. You gotta communicate with your um, with your significant other. You have to, otherwise the relationship is not gonna work. Right. So, I'm gonna talk to him later and tell him what you said, and we'll see what happens. See if that works. Okay. Yep. So, uh, the relationship will never work, though, if there's no, if there's not, if there's no communicate, if there's not good communication. There right. Ha- there has to be. Now, let me ask right. you, let me ask you this. Have you ever, oh yeah, never mind. I was going to say, have you ever been in a relationship with bad communication? But yes, you have. Um, okay. So, what, what, uh, so, alright. So, um, yeah, I'll definitely let you guys know tomorrow 
um, what what happened. Um, because I'm gonna call him later this afternoon and see how things are going, and I'm gonna tell him to. Is your dad vacuuming your room or something? No, no the 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 hallway. Oh. Um. So anyway, you guys, you know it's. Uh, what was I going to say? I, I'm going to tell him to tell her, you know, that it's important to, it's it's important, you know, I'm going to say, listen, you know, James, tell her that it's important that she communicate with you. You know, tell her, tell her that you want her to text you consistently every day throughout the day. And I'm going to tell him, listen, you'll make a schedule. Make a schedule for when you guys can FaceTime. She does have, she does have an iPhone and he has an iPhone. Uh, gotcha. He has the 10R. She has the 7. <laughs> um, plus, 7 plus. Uh, so, you know... Make a, make a, 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 I'm going to tell him, make a schedule, you know, make a, yeah. make a schedule for when you guys can talk. So yeah, we'll see what happens. We'll see. Anyway, anything else you wanted to talk about or say or? Um, I think we've about covered it. All right. So I'll tell you guys what happens tomorrow. And, um, there's a couple more things here. Quick, quick, quick. Um, Tomorrow, I'll have um, a couple good videos for you guys. Actually, three videos. Three good videos for you guys. The, obviously, the first one will be with Nikki and I tomorrow afternoon at 1.30 my time. 12.30 her time. And then I'm going to make a video of me playing the piano at my volunteer Lori's house. And then I'm going out to my... I'm going out to dinner tomorrow night with my cousin, so I'll make a video of that as long as my phone is charged and as long as I feel like bringing my phone... Um, all right, so do you want to recommend a few channels, or? Sure. Okay. Um, please check out my channel, that's N-I-K-K-I-W-U-N-D-E-R-L-I-C-H. Mm. Please check out Molly Burke, that's M-O-L-L-Y-B-E-R-K. She's an, a motivational speaker, and she has a guide dog named Gallup. Um, please check out Joy Ross, she's also a blind YouTuber, and she has a guide dog named Arabella, yep. and she seems to find joy in everything she does, yeah. and please like and subscribe to Thomas's channel. Thank you. And, uh, check out Patty Mayo's channel, that's a really good channel, and check out... Depression to Expression, that's a great YouTube channel for people who have mental illness and for people who uh, have depression and anxiety. And check out Yellow Brick Cinema, that's Yellow Brick Cinema. Uh, you can listen to different music on that YouTube channel, like music for studying, music for meditating, and deep sleep music. And that's it. So... Like and subscribe to... Oh, and Lawnboy8461. Check out his channel. Um, and um, we'll see you guys tomorrow at 1.30 my time, 12.30 Nikki's time. So you all take care. And... Uh, God bless and have a wonderful day.